Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Bois. Bois. King of the Hill podcast. I am Mike. And I'm Rusty. Rusty, we're both uh, away from the studio. Uh, yeah, we're super remote. Uh, <laughs> we're super remote. That's right. Yeah. Usually it's one or the other, but this time it's both. Yeah, it's both of us for some reason, but thank God it's a Friday uh, and uh, we're going to do something fun. So if you're yeah, ready. For sure. If you're ready, I have uh, 510 King of the Hill trivia questions, answers, and fun facts. I promise not to ask you 510. Uh, if you want to, you can. I'll set aside the next uh, 462 <laughs> hours just for this episode. That's great. That's great. <laughs> well, see what we do for you fans? I mean, we, we spend 462 hours recording these things. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask you some that I think are hard and some that I think are easy. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how you do here. If, if you're ready, I'm going to go. Yeah, go for it. All right. Number one, why would anyone do drugs when they can just mow a lawn? Who said that? That would be the one and only uh, Hank Rutherford Hill. That's right. <laughs> Hank yeah, says that's it. definitely one of a, that's definitely a Hank ism. That's right. He says it in season nine yard. She blows. Is the name okay? Of the we got episode. a uh, about. I think we got about four years before we hit that episode. That's right. That's right. Four hundred sixty-two <laughs> hours. Yeah, uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, so the next one, number two. What is Peggy's legal wedded name? Oh wow. Do you do you remember it... her her actual first name? Is it Margaret? Yes, you're right. It's Margaret Hill. Sorry, I mean, Margaret Hill. Yeah. yeah. So it says uh, although most people that know was a tough name, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah says, although most people know the Hill matriarch is Peggy, she is legally named Margaret. Her middle name is unknown, except that it starts with a J. I did not know Ooh. that, I guess. Yeah. What do you speculate it is, though? What is your, what is your theory on the J? On the J? I think it's uh, yeah. like, I think it's going to be something old. Um, i got a funny story about middle names with J for you real fast then. Oh, yeah? Go uh, for yeah, yeah, yeah. So my mom, when she was born uh my grandfather's uh grandmother or mother i think it was had just died yeah. so when my mom was born her, her actual name was michelle but they called my mom baby for for like two years they didn't really right. call her by her name and then they started calling her jane after my grandpa's dad passed away so my mom thought her name was jane all of her life but her name's actually michelle so <laughs> my mom never had a middle name so whenever she moved to the states, she became Michelle J, and then Vlad the last name. But she changed her uh, middle name to Jane. So she pretty much, when she moved to the states, she gave herself a middle name. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, talking about somebody being named or called baby. Um, uh, my wife and I both were in uh, education for a while, and we had uh, one of us had a student at one point named Infant because they never changed it on the birth certificate. 
so that was the child that just became the name for the rest that was of his it. life. It was, it was <laughs> oh, that's wild. I like that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. In season nine, episode Bobby on track. So this is when Bobby's part of the uh, track team or whatever. Uh, it says, uh, what is the nickname Bobby earns while on the track team? Ooh, see, that's more obscure. See, it is. That's the one. That's the one the fans will eat me up for because as a King of the Hill podcaster, I should know that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, uh, concede on that one. That's not one I could even remotely think of. So it says the answer is the stick. Uh, after Bobby's oh. joke of a performance in a charity run, Hank forces him to join the track team. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's one that, that don't they don't they call him the stick because he's the anchor. They try to give him they give him the. Right. The baton at the end or something. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh okay. Let's see. This one should be fairly easy for you. Uh this is a quote from one of the characters. You have to tell me who it is. Hank, you're living back in the days of black and white TVs and a democratically elected Congress. That would be <laughs> that would be Dale Gribble, obviously. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So Dale says it's it, Hank because think, of Hank's insistence on using worms as fishing bait. That's a crack episode. Yeah, I think he's the only uh, he's the only guy in the entire show that mentions politics. I don't think That's there's right. anybody else that mentions politics but him. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they do either. Now I'm sure we'll get slammed over that as well. Yeah, probably because I think Hank does. He Hank mentions political figures, but sure. I don't think he ever mentions politics in the same way that Dale does. No, not at all. Uh, okay, so here's another quote. You tell me who this is. I quit being a virgin the first time I had sex. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be, uh, uh, that's a Luanism right there. That's yeah, right. that's a Luanism. That's right. Yeah, that yeah. is Luann. It says, this quote is said by Luann in season five's Luann Virgin 2.0. Luann is certainly not short on comedic relief quotes like this one. And they are absolutely right about that. Yeah, she's not. She's not short of those at all. No, and she's a very good mechanic. I want people to know that I pointed out she's a very good mechanic. Uh, yeah, people think that we forget that people think that we uh it's it, it's a common it's a common theme on our social media is people telling us that Luann has redeemable traits that's right yeah, yeah. other uh, uh, other than her uh, her looks she is a uh, a good mechanic so. sure she is a very good mechanic uh not so good at doing hair uh okay no here's another one Hi- Who, historically terrible at hair that's, that's right uh for uh styrofoam heads and real ones uh, yeah. Okay, so who was John Redcorn's daughter? What is her name? Oh, see, that's another one that they're gonna they're gonna it's kill me one. for. Yeah, it's a tough one. I don't uh, know where I could have come up with this. I remember it was the chick that Bill was dating. It was her daughter. Yes, exactly. Bill was dating some woman, and it was the woman's daughter. Uh, I don't know something generic. Jennifer, Rachel. Yeah, you're you're on the right path. It's Kate. Um, yeah it's one of those classic traditional american generic girl names right yeah. it says that the the title of the episode is called untitled blake mccormick project uh in that we discover that john redcorn had cheated on nancy with charlene then known as candy and they had a daughter Well, let me tell you, Rusty, uh, eating healthy used to be a struggle for me, but that was before I discovered the Blendjet 2 Portable Blender. The Blendjet 2. Now when fast food temptation strikes, I just blend up a delicious and nutritious protein shaker smoothie. You know, they gave us a whole bunch of those uh, little packages that came with the blender. Yeah. And there's some really good flavors in there. I mean, there's some like that matcha thing. The green matcha? Yeah. 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 Those are pretty damn good. Uh, Blendjet 2 is portable, so you can blend up smoothies at work, uh, a protein shake at the gym, or even a margarita on the beach. Mm. It's small enough to fit uh, in a cup holder, but powerful enough to blast through ingredients like ice and frozen fruit with ease. Maybe a human thumb. Don't, it doesn't. Don't put your thumb in. Blendjet 2 is whisper quiet, so you can make your morning smoothie without waking up the whole house. Lasts for 15 plus blends and recharges quickly via USB-C, which has saved us all. There's nothing worse than turning that USB thing over and over and over and over and then finally finding how it plugs in, you know? Oh, yeah. I don't like that either. Saved yes. us, saved USB-C us saved us all. Best of all, Blendjet 2 cleans itself. <laughs> Just blend water with a drop of soap and you're good to go. Uh, there's 30-plus colors and patterns to choose from. There's a Blendjet 2 to complement just about any style. I have, um, we have a pink one? 
Lavender. Oh, pink one. I think ours is lavender. Uh, yeah. Mine is the Toy Story Aliens. Oh, yeah. It's like the Pizza Planet one. Ooh, yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, they've got some really cool uh, um, colors, and yeah. but I really like the patterns. I know one of the people here got one that looks like Woody the Sheriff. Is there a from, code with them? There is a code. What are you waiting for? Go to blendjet.com and glab, gra- <laughs> grab yours glibity, today. Glibity, glab glob. it today. Glibity, uh, glibity, glob. <laughs> and when you do glab it, uh, make sure you use the promo code. bwaaa one. Two. That's to get 12% off your order and free two-day shipping. No other portable blender on the market comes close to the quality, power, and innovation of the BlendJet 2. They guarantee you'll love it or your money back. Blend anytime, anywhere with the BlendJet 2 portable blender. Go to BlendJet.com and use the code BWAAA12 to get 12% off your order and free two-day shipping. Shop today and get the best deal ever. BlendJet 2, formerly known as BlendJet. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me, your puzzle-loving pal. Did you know I was a puzzle-loving pal? I didn't know you were a puzzle-loving pal. (laughs) I got to tell you about my latest obsession. It's Wongo Puzzles. Uh, These things are the real deal. They are high-quality, handcrafted, and perfect for anyone who loves a good challenge but doesn't want to dedicate their entire kitchen table to puzzles for a week. Trust me, I have been there. I will tell you this, uh, my parents, you know, they're very old and decrepit, and uh, they make uh, they they do puzzles all the damn time. Yeah, like there's always a table that what has else like an unfinished do, right? puzzle. Yeah, it's either that or I don't know. Die. <laughs> feel, feel your bones. Uh, so they it, these puzzles, these Wongo puzzles, they are a hundred percent wooden. Uh, the last forever. Uh, each piece is hand drawn. Just think about that for a second. Each piece is hand Hand drawn. drawn. So no two pieces are the same, and you'll discover some fun whimsy pieces as you work through it. Whimsy. They come in a custom wooden box, which is perfect for storage and gifting. You know, before we started doing this, I didn't realize how many people I know already have these Wongo puzzles. I mean, they're they're apparently pretty... pretty You can't go wherever Juan go. (laughs) With uh, stunning designs and unique shapes, Wongo puzzles are a cut above the rest. I loved doing the snow globe puzzle myself. It was great to pull out a puzzle and be done in a night and not have it on the table for a week. Uh, what, so what are you waiting for? Let's go to Wongo Puzzles, W-O-N-G-O Puzzles.com and pick a puzzle today. And be sure to use the promo code B-W-A-A-A for 10% off your order. It's the most fun you'll have with a puzzle guaranteed or your money back. Go to W-O-N-G-O puzzles.com and use your code B-W-A-A-A to get 10% off your order and get puzzling right now. Hey, Rusty, did you know that you could be putting oil and chemicals in your coffee? No, I, mean, I didn't know that. I mean, I love coffee creamer, but I don't think I've ever turned a bottle around to actually see what's inside. You know, recently I did, and I found out many of my favorite creamers, like especially the one my wife used to use, uh, they contain ingredients I would never intentionally add to my coffee cup, like canola oil, Ooh. dipotassium phosphate, whatever Sounds that is, terrible. artificial flavors. I don't, I can't take artificial flavors a lot of the time. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm good on any taste, flavoring. They taste gross. I like, I don't like flavors in my coffee. I like, co- I like the earth and flavor of coffee. I mean, I love coffee. Don't get me wrong. I I do love it. I just, um, I don't like all that crap in my coffee, right? Yeah, no, it does that. So let me tell you about Laird Superfoods then. Uh, they have better ingredients, amazing taste, and functional benefits. Uh, Laird Superfood creamers are crafted from the highest quality all-natural real food ingredients. All Laird products are sustainably sourced and thoroughly tested to ensure that you're incorporating the cleanest, finest fuel into your routine. Now, they're all-natural. They've got whole food ingredients. Uh, they contain naturally occurring MCTs from coconut oil. And everybody tells you coconut oil is good for you. Mm-hmm. There's no artificial flavors, no colors, no additives, uh, no sugar from highly refined corn syrup. So that's a big deal right there. Um, if you take one thing you do every day and make it better, Laird developed his creamer himself to stay powered for a day on the waves. He was a big wave surfer, Laird Hamilton was, and he needed a morning fuel that could allow him to spend the entire day chasing the ultimate wave. So he made this creamer, and it is, uh, it's is—it's—it's crazy, crazy good. Uh, Laird sources high-quality plant-based ingredients globally and puts an emphasis on U.S. sources whenever possible. They aim to source responsibly and sustainably and believe that the food you consume should be as good for the earth as they are for you. They have honest and transparent products and labels. Uh, If you try it, you won't go back. 
Um, they have functional superfood creamers, instant lattes, and prebiotic greens. They have a variety of snacks and supplements full of wholesome plant-based ingredients to keep you charged for wherever life takes you. So to get a deal on Laird Superfoods, I need you to go to zen.ai, B-W-A-A-A, king of the hill. So that's zen.ai slash B-W-A-A-A, king of the hill. And your offer code there is B-W-A-A-A. So Laird Superfoods makes a better creamer that keeps you powered all day, and it's better for you, the earth, and your coffee. What do you say, Rusty? You want to go get some coffee? Mm. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rusty. Yeah. Did you know that dehydration is the leading cause of daytime fatigue? Oh, no. I don't know about you, but like 2, 30, 3 o'clock, I just hit a wall almost every day. I was shocked to learn that even mild dehydration can cause headaches, muscle weakness, brain fog. But luckily, there's a cure. Oh, there is? Uh, actually, I should have said there's a solution. It's called cure. Cure hydration. Uh, the cure hydration is an oral rehydration solution, or ORS, uh, that contains the perfect balance of electrolytes. You know how important that is because plants crave it. Super important. And glucose to help your body absorb water and rehydrate quickly. The formula is made with all natural ingredients like coconut water powder and pink Himalayan salt. Ooh. And it is free from artificial flavors, sweeteners, and preservatives. Cure Hydration is vegan, gluten-free, and non-GMO. Uh, that makes it a great option for anyone with dietary restrictions and preferences. Uh, the packets that they give you, they're convenient. They're easy to use. You just mix them with water and drink. They're perfect for on the go travel or anytime you need quick hydration. Uh, hydration is more than just drinking water, Rusty. It is, uh, that's what Lauren Picasso, a lifelong endurance athlete discovered as she struggled to stay hydrated, no matter how much water she drank. I've known people like that. My yeah, wife, my yeah, wife yeah. drinks so much water. It's crazy. Lauren found Cure, a science-backed electrolyte drink mix to make hydration easy for everyone. Uh, Cure believes that hydration should be simple and effective, but also clean and natural. That's why they only use the highest ingredients and quality plant-based uh, stuff to avoid any artificial or harmful additives. They're committed to transparency and honesty. All of their ingredients are clearly listed on their website and packaging, and they're always happy to answer any questions or concerns. So are you ready to combat dehydration? Absolutely. You, you can try Cure today and feel difference for feel the difference for yourself. Use your code. B-W-A-A-A. <laughs> Sorry, I'm blank. You're good for 20% off your order. Try Cure today and feel the difference for yourself. Use our special code BWAAA for 20% off your order. Uh, your coupon will be activated at checkout. Try Cure Hydration. Stop drying out. All right, uh, a couple more. Um, what is Hank scared of in the garage when he and Bobby are building the boat? You know, I don't even remember that episode. I don't yes. even remember that episode. Yeah, I didn't either. Yes, that one's really obscure. Yeah, no, that's that's another one. He, <laughs> that's he another is, stumper. Uh, Hank is terrified of bats. When he sees one in the garage, he leaves oh, Bobby bats. to fend for himself. Bats. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Yeah. Okay, here's here's another tough one. All right. Uh because I I wouldn't have known this had had I not read it. Uh in the After the Mold Rush episode, Peggy is reading a pamphlet called So You Got Mold. Uh she finds out a celebrity had his dog Muffin die from mold. Who was that celebrity? <laughs> that's a good that's a good guess though yeah that's a little inside baseball but yeah that's a, that's a very good guess yeah um, no i don't, I don't know I, <laughs> it was, i'm not sure on that one it was ed mcmahon uh ed mcmahon okay. the pamphlet the pamphlet also says aaron brockovich had mold so there you go <laughs> okay aaron brockovich and then uh Miss Nugent had mold too, I believe. Miss Nugent, uh, <laughs> I, I read something yesterday, honestly, for um, uh, I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw her, and she's she's putting out a thing about how bad mold is again. So, uh, well, that's that's riveting, uh, riveting stuff, guys. If you guys want to see uh, riveting know, content, yeah, all you want to know and not know about mold, you have to just go seek out uh, Miss Nugent, uh, 
the infamous Ted Nugent's wife. That's right. And she's got everything you don't want to know about black she mold. Is, uh, she is, she's, she's big on stopping the mold. Uh, all right. Uh, finish this sentence spoken by Bill Dotrieve. If everybody fried their food, what's the rest of that saying? Would all be happier? There would be no war. Oh, there would be no war. If okay, everybody almost. fried their food, there would be no war. <laughs> because nobody could move. That's right. It says, in Mutual of Om Abwa, Bill and Boomhauer tried fried bananas at a fair and get inspired to fry just about everything. Eventually, they try frying a can of beer, which explodes. They do that out on his lawn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that episode specifically. Yeah, I do remember that one. Yeah. No, that's the, one of the ones you've mentioned. I, that's the thing is, is when it comes to the later seasons, oh, sure. I've seen less I've seen less of it because sure. it's like the first, you know, like five seasons that are really good, six seasons. So like the yeah. back half, like even the Lucky stuff, the only thing I know about Lucky is that he slipped on pee-pee. That's pretty much Just whenever we get to those episodes, I'll, I'll, it'll be probably like watching them brand new for some of it for me. So uh, here's here's a fairly easy one. Who runs the concession stand at Arlen Speedway? Oh, Jimmy Witcher. That's right. Bobby worked for Jimmy briefly until he tried to make Bobby walk across the track during a race. That's when Hank literally kicked his ass. Actually, one of the only times that we've have we've have, have we've discussed before, everybody says, "Oh, well, Hank's whooped somebody's ass before," but Hank had only kicked him one time. That's, That's right. the one and only time. You see Hank running down an alleyway, stopping a uh, literal and figurative mud hole in Jimmy Witcher's ass. So it's like, <laughs> That's right. He's actually ass whooping. That's the only ass whooping Hank ever dishes out in the whole show. Yeah, you actually see it, and it is, uh, it's not great. I wouldn't want to be Jimmy Witcher. No, he's booting him. He's giving him the, the old boot down the, down the alleyway. All right, I'm going to give you another quote. You have to tell me who said this. Now, think about context with this one, okay? Uh, right. the truth is like sunlight. People used to think it's good for you. Think about somebody who has trouble. Oh, with... Peggy, Peggy, that's Peggy. No, it's Nancy. <laughs> it's Nancy. Oh, it's Nancy. Yeah, because she's a weather lady and she's lying about her her affair. Oh, it's the weather. Yes. There okay, go. I got you. I know now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All oh, right. Man, I thought that was Peggy. It just sounds like something Peggy would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Here's here's one. Here's another quote. And again. Just think about context. Uh, no coincidence. I like to hump. I like to eat, and I don't like to drive. I like to hump. I like to eat, and I, oh, that's going to be uh, Dale Gribble. <laughs> it's Buck Strickland. It's Buck. Oh, Buck Strickland. He uses this line Dale during season reason. four's high anxiety. No coincidence. I like to hump. I like to eat, and I don't like to drive. I mean, when that's you, coming up for us. <laughs> yeah, when that's you, coming up. Isn't that it? makes total sense. Is that one? We haven't covered that. That's coming up. Yeah, that one's coming up. Yeah. All right. Uh, I got two more for you. Uh, okay. John Redcorn used to work as a roadie for which band? Damn. I can't remember that one either. They're going to kill me. In the, they're going to okay. kill me on social That's media right. for this. You'll, you'll get to do this to me, and then they'll kill me. Uh, uh, so the answer is Winger. He worked for Winger. He had a winger. Vision, yeah, he had okay. a vision quest that told him that wrangling groupies for winger was not his proper life path. <laughs> yeah, that's when he started doing the new age healing and having sex with other people's wives instead. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm telling you, man. I the more I watch this show, you know, the more I rewatch this show, and then having watched uh, Parks and Rec, Jonathan Joss is just he's fantastic. Oh, he uh, is. I really he, like him in Parks and Rec, too. I forget he was in that. My the only God. thing that I don't like about him is he wanted money for an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Come be here for free. Come That's on here right. for free, man. <laughs> you, can't really, you can't really hold him out of that. Uh, okay, last one. Uh, what does Nancy start to lose due to her breakup with John Redcorn? Her hair. That's, that's right. the whole episode around Manitoba cigarettes. The only reason I remember that one is because that's the one where they implant uh, all these devices and stuff in the house. The cigarette company does trying to catch Dale lying, but Dale sticks to the bit all the way through, all the way to court and out the courtroom. And then he apologizes to Nancy from what I remember at the end and tells her how it was all the setup and that he he was he said he was just trying to you know screw the cigarette company out of money. Yeah. 
It's a good episode. That's one of those uh, probably top five, top ten episodes for me. That's one I really like. Brought to you by Manitoba. Uh, the stress of breaking up with John Redcorn causes Nancy to lose tons of hair. This is first noticed by Luann when she's fixing Nancy's hair for the news report. So there you go. Uh, this is this is a very long and in-depth quiz here, and I'm sure that we will revisit this on a Friday at some point. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm but, gonna save that one and use that again for sure. I like those kind of quiz stuff because it reminds me of episodes. See, now I'm gonna go watch some of those episodes. Yep, that's right. It just reminds me of good stuff that I forgot about. Because as much as we are King of the Hill fans and we are the number one King of the Hill podcast on the airwaves, uh, there's still some stuff that I all the fans would beat me on for sure. Oh, there's a lot of stuff out there. Plus, they have the uh, option of looking it up and not telling you. So. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I could have. Uh, <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, you should have told me that before we started. That's before right. we started recording, <laughs> you should have said, go ahead and log in, get your Google up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, I you would be the uh, second person I told to get their Google up today. There you uh, go. <laughs> all right. Got, so... uh, I got some news, though. So oh, we please. are now please. on Thread. You can now find oh, us at uh, K-O-T-H on Thread. Uh, we'll I be think, on Blue Sky as soon as they let me in the door. I'm trying to get on Blue Sky too. So I think uh, now Blue Sky is the one by the guy who started Twitter, and then Thread yeah. is owned by Mark Zuckerberg. So uh, yeah, they said 10 million signups in a day. I don't doubt that one bit because it is literally a Twitter clone without DMs. Uh, yeah, well, no, yeah, they said they're uh, they're 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 putting that feature in in the next couple of days. Yeah, there's no gifts or anything yet uh so you can't throw those on there but man once they put the gifts and the and the uh dms on there i i think it's over uh, I, I do i just like the fact that you can upload content already so i yeah. was already able to upload uh, i haven't uploaded anything on the blog page yet but on the animation conversation page i was able to upload something on it but i've got all the pages created for that uh so animation conversation and blog both now have a thread that's really great that's great. Yeah, it was I easy think, too. It was real easy because it was just like it's just along, like I downloaded from Instagram. the app. Yeah, yeah, I downloaded the app and it imported everything, the whole bio, all that crap. I didn't have to redo anything. I liked it that even, a lot. Like, that, like, that was great. Yeah, it even throws your friends in there and everything. I mean, everything's there. Yeah, everybody that switched already and everything, and everybody that's already been invited to switch. I mean, I like it. I, I hope that uh, I hope that being an early adopter to it helps us in, in, in some discovery stuff for our show for people finding it. Yeah. So I have I have one piece of information um, mm -hmm. that, that I want to pass along to you and the fans because I don't think I've told you about this. Uh, maybe I have, but we have a Patreon up now. We don't we don't have a ton of content mm -hmm. on there yet. But we do have a $3 tier where you can just go and support us, uh, and we will give you a shout-out. We'll, we'll uh, consider you part of the Bois family, uh, and we will uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, eventually, we're going to have a couple more tiers up where uh, we'll start putting all of our filmed content, all of my notes from uh, the past year or so um just just a lot of extra content on there but if you just want to support us the three bucks a month would really really help and we <laughs> do appreciate anybody that goes to patreon.com slash bwaaa also eventually for anybody who listens to us on spotify uh, or on the, any type of audio device which is where you're listening to this one anyway yeah. most of our episodes will eventually disappear off of these uh, the the old episodes will disappear and they will be archived on the Patreon. Uh, we want to do that to uh, you know uh, make it make it fresh for people and make you have to go look for stuff. I like people having to find things. It's like a scavenger hunt that costs money. Absolutely, so you can, uh, absolutely. Pay, you know, five six bucks, whatever we end up deciding on and sure. however it ends up going. But it's an evolution, and we appreciate everybody for uh, sticking with us through the growing pains and stuff like that. Everybody that has been that I said anything about a sticker to, email me, contact me on the social medias. I'm trying to gather up addresses again so we can get that sorted. We've been uh, we were in negotiations and preparations to move, so it kind of delayed some sticker stuff for us. So well, if you get all that information to me, let I'll, me get that out to you. I'll go ahead and and hoist myself on my own petard on that one. That that's all my fault. You have gotten me a list before, and I I screwed it up. So it's all good. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. All good. If everybody we're, can we're contact us, of, 
Yeah, if everybody can contact us. Bigger idea. stuff. Yeah, yeah, just contact us because you know we're in the process of trying to do trying to do bigger and better stuff for you guys, and some stuff got held by the wayside that shouldn't have. But yep. that, that's what happens when you're growing, and, uh, and we're just trying to get it to where we can give you guys better content and more of it. That's right. And Artie, you don't have to contact us again. I got you. We'll we'll take care of you, Artie. I promise. Um, oh yeah, yeah, you're good, Artie. I got you taken care of, man. You're gonna get. We're gonna also, get also, we'll take care of a certain person in the state of Atlanta. Or in the, the state of Atlanta, in the state oh, of Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Georgia. Yeah, Jordan, we'll get you taken care of. Jordan yeah. too. Yeah, yeah she. Want, uh, I don't want any of our past folks to think we don't we don't have their information and we're not going to send them stuff because because we do care for all you guys. All and we really appreciate yeah, it. I definitely have hers and Artie's addresses yep. already ready for you to give. So cool. I'll get all that relayed to you. and We'll get everything sorted. And everybody, uh, we appreciate y'all for sticking with us for uh, what is almost two years. We're coming up on two years within the That's next. Right. Uh, next four or five months maybe six months yeah. no yeah. no january yeah it's still a ways away yet actually never mind i'm jumping the gun well, so we're six we months out but we're like a year and a half in it's crazy that we're only this far in it feels like we've been doing it for i've been doing it for 15 years it does it seems like a very long time but hey uh we've also got a giveaway coming up and uh we'll give you more information about that the more you listen um give us a couple episodes to get all that together and i'm going to give something away so uh, i think you guys will be excited about it Awesome. Well, All right. Okay. Tell them tell them where they can find us real quick before you wee Tanya out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. You can find us on uh, uh, blockkoth.com. That's right. Uh, that's that's all of our links there or roguemedianetwork.com. And then you can just go to the search engine and search in Blois. I uh, yep. would appreciate it if you guys went to the patreon.com slash Blois as well. Yep. And, uh, yeah, do that for us. And, you know, we'll keep, keep making content for you guys. All right. And we'll see you again on Monday. We're with Tanya. We're with Tanya, dude. Maha! This has been a Rogue Media Network production.